I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm reading Ruth. I've read Genesis, Numbers, Exodus, Deuteronomy, Leviticus. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm reading the Bible. I'm here in in the free nation, the greater nation. Reading Ruth and Naomi, the Moabites and the Elamite, and the Judah and the country of Moab. Judah, Elamite was the husband, and then Naomi and Ruth, and then they had a. Uh, Mahal and uh, Kay Lyon, they died, and then they had Naomi and Ruth, and then uh, Naomi, her name was Mara, because she'd been through uh, bitter times with the Lord. They met Bose, yeah, Naomi, she met Bose, I believe, in the field with the reap and the sheaves, and Bose was nice to her. She said, he said, he said, you could work for me, and uh, you could have some water with the servants. She reported back to uh, Ruth, I believe, yeah, and a uh, mother-in-law, so that's what I'm reading about. And it's, uh, I'm reading Ruth, and I'm uh, being persecuted against. I, I was in California. My testimony is strong. I'm a talented Christian artist, and people are following me. And uh, they uh, know that every word that I speak is my own understanding coming from the Lord. So people couldn't turn to the Lord in California and admit that my talent was undeniable and that I had won my testimony, but they had put their heads down and dug through the grave to look for a, to look for a reason to lie against. So it's conceit and murder to follow me to say that actually everything that I have won isn't, isn't, isn't true. And they followed me out of California. I'm waiting. I'm a Christian here. And, uh, it's just that, uh, other countries there's been Christian persecution is fascism, Marxism. And even as I speak right now, I can hear someone's voice and it's a murder. It's someone who follows me. So, uh, with so much hatred that if I know, think something they have to know, because that's the way they didn't turn to the Lord. So every biblical truth that I read, they don't understand. Because in the garden, you have to understand the knowledge of good and evil. So, and how God knows. If I wrong someone, then I know. God knows. And then I would have to turn from that because it's Ten Commandments. And then when I read, it's every word for me and for my house and for my kin. So they can't admit they're not my kin. That every way that I have, I'm going to keep having it like that. So... The beginning of the fear of the knowledge of the Lord is to fear the Lord. And I know I fear the Lord. And I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. There's like a thousand people who won't admit or turn to the Lord and that have to know what I'm doing. And so anything I do is uh, how it would have to be shared. And it's by their understanding they work for it. They, they've actually the whole time, they have the same testimony, understanding. I think of great Christian artists. Like Zach Williams, his testimony, his his songs, uh, Fear is a Liar. I think about my Christian artists at this point and how I'm being uh, martyred. Like Jesus was persecuted because he could walk on water. Someone could lie against that. And I know how I've worked my entire life to get to Arizona. And I left because of police brutality. So people couldn't turn to the Lord. And they continue to uh, live in murder and hatred and covetry to covet my life for themselves. And every word of understanding is regular education. It's my human rights. And it's it's not how they understand by the way that they it's the murder, you know, so it's the God's law and everything. Cause there's average people here in a uh, rich and poor state, you know, because a, a poor man can be rich in spirit and a, a rich man could be rich in spirit. But it's like that's the Lord and that that is the reward of being loyal and being honest. And that's why uh that's in bows, you know, he's a good, he's a good man in Judah and Moab and because he's loyal in the Lord and understands. And so the word is powerful because bows isn't committing murder and trespassing, but he's in a field and he has control of the field. And when he talks to uh, Ruth and Naomi and Mara, the three names, he, he says, you can work for me in this field. You'll be safe. I'll protect you from the men. So it's just the law. It's just, that's the loyalty. That's the reward. That's the honesty. Cause that is the Lord, the Lord. So don't speak to me without the Lord. That means you have to 
speak to me with honesty because God knows. And so you couldn't steal from me and commit murder and trespassing and then think that there's an understanding that we share. So I'm being uh, persecuted. It's martyrdom and I'm praying for uh, help, maybe from another country. Maybe it'll come from uh, the Middle East. Maybe it'll come from Israel itself or Jerusalem. Someone will get a uh, wind because God weighs the wind that I'm a Christian woman. I'm in California. I mean, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and that America, the uh, allegiance to the flag has fallen and that I'm being persecuted for every thought in my head. And it's, uh, uh, I'm waiting for a rescue because the uh, police and the FBI haven't picked up or responded to uh, my uh, murder because of the way that I'm so strong. So then it's just another excuse, but it have to be a, uh, like a big, uh, a big act of violence on my side to to home everything in. How you can't steal and murder me, try to murder me uh, every second, every day for my talent and my charisma and my kinship without a reality of a consequence. And so in other countries, you've heard about like Asada bin Laden. He's like deep terror and like deep terror on women and like women covering their heads and just like, people think about how that's crazy well there's alliances in other countries there's churches in other countries there's an understanding of right and wrong in the lord so right now i think this part of the country is suffering like a third world country it's like right here in phoenix there's a third world country the american law is being broken like out in public and there's no response so it's like other countries might have it more and so i keep praying that people would speak up on my behalf like about an american woman whose rights are being uh, suppressed, that people are uh, trying to steal from uh, my testimony and against the Lord. And it's just so, and he's rebuked by a heavy hand of violence on my side. And so I keep praying that an allegiance and alliance could form from another country, from another state, because it's just that, like, let's say I go to, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Let's just say if I go to a football game, there's a quarterback there that scores a a, 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 a a winning touchdown. I can't follow him out of the next state because he scored a winning touchdown and it wasn't me. In my whole life, uh, I admit that, uh, that, that I'm actually that good. And then following the quarterback to uh, kill him uh, as a uh, as a public way, an example that if you win in a quarterback position – then I actually have won that position and I can follow you in uh, that way because it would make someone angry to see someone win and catch the ball as a quarterback if they couldn't admit and come to the Lord that they were happy for the quarterback catching the ball. So it's uh, hatred and anger that has to be rebuked because someone could be as good as they want catching a football. And then if someone sees that, they have to be happy for it. And if they don't really care, that's another thing. But them following the quarterback out of the country to try to murder them in a mass following because you hated uh, the fact that you weren't the one catching the football and that you hadn't been practicing for that your entire life, then there has to be a way to rebuke that because then it's not even about the quarterback. It's about that. That's an American right. And so it's out of American rights. It's a third world uh, mentality that if there's someone besides me that has a life, then I can try to take the life openly because it's got to be education risen. There's a consequence for violence and uh, hatred on what, for someone else, for who they are. So I'm praying for a, a, a response of violence on my behalf because um, I'm one person. And so I know my, my rights to read and it's all my understanding and I obey the Lord. And so I know I'm hella talented, hella good. I'm a Christian artist, a mother of two kids and everything that I do, the, uh, the wins, the, uh, everything that I do, it goes to my children and my family. So that was another idea that my own children, my own family would hate me for my accomplishment. So it's not going to be like that because my faith is going to endure because of the biblical truth because the biblical truth. Yeah. Because Moses left Exodus 40 years. It took him to find God's law and God spoke out of the fire on Mount Sinai 
to Moses. And Moses understood why to leave Pharaoh in Egypt because he wasn't an Egyptian and his people were there. And his mother, they had ransomed him as a child. Pharaoh said, I'm going to kill uh, the baby if you don't put it in the river. So the Hebrew mother put the baby in pitch and tar in the river. And then Pharaoh's daughter picked up the baby when Moses was at the age of, uh, of, uh, I guess it's the age of, um, right and wrong. When he became old enough to be a man, he decided that was my mother. These people have kidnapped me. This is my people. They're being abused and I'm not going to leave what the Lord has called me to do. Cause that's the Lord to turn to the Lord, to go the harder way, to leave Egypt and try to save your people rather than having everything you want with the people who don't truly care for you. So he did, he left and they found the 10 commandments and set the Hebrews free with the 10 commandments. The Lord drew back the, 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 the red sea with the east wind and they left and they formed nine armies, Israel and Jacob was named Israel. So Jacob was named Israel and everything has a meaning with the Lord in truth and loyalty to the Lord. And so that's the fame and that's, the way I choose to live my life. And my mom, she passed away. She sacrificed herself. And I know uh, I'm a star. My daughter, she said, Mom, you're a star. Because I used to sing in the house and stuff. And she knows. She knows that's the spirit. That I'm good at what I do. And my son, too. And I haven't seen him. Because I left California after the police brutality. They broke my arm. They said that my license was expired. It doesn't expire until 2027. It expired until 2027. So I'm here in Phoenix surviving and uh, everything that I do in my Olympian because I'm, I don't give up and I haven't died yet. And so I know that uh, it's a stronger endurance and faith. So I'm going to keep on living on for my children. It's uh, 12 minutes on this coming on my YouTube and I'm praying for a, 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 a I'm, I just keep on praying knowing that uh, I'm loyal to my flag and that the way that these people hate me that they are going to die in hell and it's going to be forever and so that is not exciting but that's why I know heaven's real and I keep choosing to live my life by the strength God gives me to raise myself to believe in the Bible to believe in the history of suffrage like Moses left and actually the sea parted and people left Egypt because that was the Lord it's the harder way it's not the easier way and so obeying the Lord's commands and not wanting murder and to steal. That's the way I choose to live my life. And it continue, it continuously is uh, the way I want to live my life because I have my word and I have the spirit and I know the Lord is with me. And so I realize the way that I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay uh, surviving. I'm going to stay living my life. And even if it's a thousand people in massacres and terrorist plots, against only me because that's how weak it is because it, I'm one person. So there would have to be a way for uh, violence on my side. And so that's the United States government, which it hasn't happened yet because I had 24 terms of seven years. And so it gets clearer and clearer to God every day that it's not okay that these people are trying to steal and kill me like this. But what I do know is that God takes account. Heaven is real and he's got it all written down. So the people that have been coming after me, I know that God knows and they're going to be separated from God like they already are. They're separated from God. And when they die, it'll be a uh, silence and they'll, they'll go to hell. The people that have, uh, won't turn to the Lord to admit that, uh, they don't want murder for my life because then that way it would be how I'm them. And so that's what I have to say right now because I have to keep getting through it because it's it's huge, it's huge acts of violence. The, the people they don't stop following me, like every day, everywhere I go, they follow me to contend with me because that's the way they couldn't turn to the Lord wherever they saw me, and so I know that it's a mass murder the other way, and so that it's a retardation for them to think that they understand or have earned anything because I know how good I am in my testimony. I know how smart I am. I know how good I am. Yeah, and it's good. And so how like people are all out and that there's no one being followed like that. And so it's uh, it's uh, 
I just, cause there's, they're right here right now listening to me. And so the understanding would be how I've earned everything on my own all the way to Phoenix and that they haven't been through one minute of hardship. So we wouldn't be sharing in any kinship or wisdom because they're just random people who hate God and hate me. And I'm in the same family uh, tree and lineage as Moses and, uh, and Jesus, because I believe in Moses, I believe in Jesus, I believe in the Bible, and then everyone against me separates more and more and more and more from the allegiance with America and with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But they want to listen in on to how I understand, and then it doesn't switch to where it's the opposite. So it's how I've made it through the 24 terms in seven years. I'm the Christian artist. I'm the Olympian athlete who continues to make it through impossible odds, and I'm reading the Bible in the Old Testament, and now I'm starting Ruth. And I live on for my daughter, and my mom passed away, and I don't give up. So it doesn't go on that I share it with any of the people attacking me. It goes on that I'm still 100% committed to my faith in my family and obeying the Lord. 